Welcome to PartialArc.com. Don't do that. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. And two idiots join the Inquisition. Dark Heresy! Welcome back to our finale of Dark Heresy. For two years, it's been a pleasure being your Imperial Scribe, documenting the adventures of Andrew Dickinger, Jay Jones, Kevin Kevinson, Lucius Malta, Wilhelm, Shepard Toombs, and of course, their incredible servo skull companion, Daniel Fernandez. Now, I don't want you to be alarmed. This may be our finale, but I'm certainly not going anywhere. And as I've hinted in previous Vox recordings, we've got some exciting things ahead. But... For our boys, Shepard and Andrew, well, things are looking quite grim. With Atris dispatched, but alarms blazing throughout the fortress, can these two hope to make it out alive? Let's find out. All right, Daniel, there you are. You've got your fire extinguisher fully reloaded. Who knew how absolutely handy this thing would be? I think it's crazy how many fire extinguisher replacement cartridges yes, you're bringing. Yes, you know... I- I will say, I was surprised that you brought as many as you did, but, I mean, it's really come in handy. I mean, that there's room in my backpack for I mean, what else am I going to stick in there? Like, ammo or something? Well, <laughs> yes. How much ammo did you bring? And did you bring I- my extra clips from my hotshot last gun? So Andrew pauses for a second while running, gives him a dead stare, and then opens up his robe, and it's literally just lined with ammunition <laughs> cartridges. <laughs> say, it's lined with fire extinguisher tubes. Oh, no, no, no. The backpack is for the oh. fire extinguisher. Oh, tubes. God. <laughs> just like you unfurl it, just like tons of them just roll out. Also, that's the only like good use of the mechanical arm that I've come up with is that it just grabs a fire extinguisher it package and hands it to mechanism? me. <laughs> Jesus. I, I Man, feel- how, how are you able to stand? You have so many things on you at one given time. Mechanical leg. That is a very impressive mechanical <laughs> leg. And it's only one of them. I mean, yes, I, don't I, e- know. I don't even have legs. My so left leg know, is but- very tired. Listen, I don't have any mechanical parts, but I'm amazed at how you've managed to distribute the weight. That's I mean, impressive. There's not much of me left. Lots of mechanics. Oh, well, I, it's certainly doing well for you. I think we're almost to the uh, landing bay. We, we better be ready, though. I think everybody's yes. falling back there. We've got to get out of here. I mean, if those Tau things are going absolutely bug nuts, there's no chance that we can take them out. I mean, I am a, you know, universe-renowned... A mediocre... Consulting assassin. assassin. Hey, consulting assassin. Please yes, use the correct terminology. Mediocre consulting assassin. Well, listen, th- all speculation. Um, I, 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 you know, I bet you could do even better if you weren't so hurt. You know, I think that's it's the... It's true. I am... If one could put it into context, I'm feeling like I've got zero wounds left over. Like I've got really nothing left in the tank. Like all of this blood, all of it is mine and it is all outside of my body. A little of it is Atrus's. That's true. A that, little that, of it is Atrus's. Yes, a, a small percentage <laughs> of it is Atrus's, but I'm I'm feeling like garbage. I mean, All I can time. inject the thing into you. You did. I really, I would appreciate if you didn't do that again. Uh, at this point, I don't know how much of an impact it's going to make, other than potentially accidentally kill me. Well, I'm not saying that it'll help you. I mean, it just make you feel. Better. Actually, like literally, it won't help him. He's you he can't heal him from any more wounds at this point. I mean, it's just like any other problem. You just throw more at it, and that solves it. No, right? no, no, no. Don't <laughs> don't need any more chemicals pumping through my body at this point. I'm, I'm sure I'm still feeling some of the effects of whatever you shot, kind of cocktail in good you stuff. Beforehand. Yes, de- I mean, look, no denying it, very good, but my god. That's right. a really long hallway. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it took us a while to get here. We were it taking did. our time. But uh, I, I do think I'm starting to see the hangar bay up ahead. Um, I guess hopefully we just... Well, actually, now that we're getting close, let me just check into the team. Um, hello, everyone, can, can you hear us? This is Tombs, we're getting close to the hangar. The situation has less than ideal, uh, and uh, it, it's mellow on the line. We have all fallen back. Both of the teams have made it back to the hangar. We were waiting on you. We're going to load up into the lighter, and we should be able to get out of here in just a moment. Uh, There are a lot of them, though, and there are increasingly few of us. All right. Well, well, just just hang on a second. Uh, Don't leave without us. And 
basically end the uh, yeah. end the comms and just just start full sprinting yeah, yeah. towards the hangar. Full run, full run towards the hangar. All right, and as we get into the hangar, you see that there are like ten people on our side left, and we came with like. 25 people, you know. Oh, like, no. Who, like, who were the ones? Was it the knife stabbers with their feet? Well, uh, I mean, we don't have time to quite. It, it's a little chaotic right now. We'll, we'll, we'll take sense. inventory later because I totally just use them as, you know, normal things that you organize. I don't know what you call those things. Are you talking about troops? Like soldiers? Troops. That's the word. Jeez, you are our strategist for this meeting. You realize that. And I by mean, meeting, I mean mission. I mean, we're still alive, aren't we? I mean, yes. Yes. Yes, I guess that's and right. And Atris is dead. Yes, that's correct. All oh. right, we're here. <laughs> hey, guys. Great to see you. Okay, uh, I wasn't in there. Turns out there's no tanks on here at all, but uh, and he uh, he smacks uh, a shimmering cloud right next to him full force with his uh, metal bat. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. Your eyesight is incredible. You got to be able to see the ball coming, baby. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I knew he was going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> I love how baseball has become this, like, legendary sport. Hey, I'm seeing these guys just fine. Maybe you guys need to play more baseball, so I'm saying. Uh, Clearly, but I need to train in the art of baseball. Whatever martial arts this is, I must practice it heavily. All right. So let's just get on the shuttle and get out of Oh, no. Was that our that, shuttle that just exploded? That appears to be the shuttle exploding. Uh, that's slightly problematic. You've I mean, be shitting me. It looks like it's still sort of there, but that engine blew up. What Wait, hold on. Blew? Oh, you mean the most important part of the ship? The thing that gets us out of here? Yes, that does seem to be the case. Oh, no, there's more of them coming. Where do we go? Uh, do, do you have the map? You looked at the map. Where, where the hell do we go? I mean, there's two sets of escape pods, but there's no way we can get there. We need to start start a fighting retreat, I guess, to the... I, uh, but. All right, I mean, weapons out, everyone. And, and Shepard Toombs drops his arm to the side, pulls out his hotshot last guns, and basically just starts firing into the pouring tau. Yeah. All right, uh, I want you to make... Uh, this is going to be... Uh, uh, we've done these massive fights before. Uh, do a sort of generalized ballistic skill check. All right. yeah, yeah. Andrew has flipped his uh, bolter to semi-automatic, and okay. he's just going to be firing at the crowd, I guess. Does it not go full auto? It does not go full auto. Oh, okay. That was actually pretty good. I rolled a 48, and what's hilarious, I get bonuses, but my yeah. actual ballistic skill flat is 48. Well, so there you go. Yeah. Well. Success? Um, I rolled a 73, which means even with my bonuses, I'm just firing into the nothing. Firing wildly, basically. All right. I mean, they're hard to see. Yeah, they're hard to see. Just just blasting. They're getting closer. So so where should we go? Should we fight our way to the lab, to the living quarters? Can I, can I make like a... Um, I'm trying to see if there's... Is there a quick check to like... I guess stealth's not going to work because they're all over us. Is there a way to like kind of quickly look through the crowd and like the areas and try to assess like a way to escape like essentially like what's the most optimal escape route we is, can take would it be awareness you know what awareness is fucking fine yeah all yeah. right <laughs> yeah. i'm decent at it here we go plus 10 i rolled an 88 <laughs> i am real distracted by all the tau bodies i'm shooting at Andrew, do you want to try to make a check? Uh, uh, all right, I'm start like I'm fiddling with the, the the dials on my hand wrist, and it's like it's like the, the the you know the sonar thing from that old data slate aliens, and literally there's no it's just dots. There's no empty space. It's just one giant blurb of I, things. I like how our lives are gonna come down to the worst thing possible, which is the die roll. <laughs> a die, you mean a die roll by me? Yeah, I think thanks for uh, leaving this die roll up to me, Tombs. No problem. I rolled a five. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Oh, when you need to roll a good roll. <sighs> so, how does this translate to like maybe giving us a fighting chance to get the hell out? Suddenly, of here? just like the epiphany hits me, and I have full. I finally have full tactical awareness of everything that's happening. Uh, you've you've reached full tactical. Uh, I've accessed the ma- I've, <laughs> I've accessed the machine spirit finally, and I. Oh understand. my god. <laughs> The machine spirit speaking. My to you. binaric brain has awoken. All right, you see that. Uh, I just want to say, I look up and suddenly it's all the Matrix. Oh God! <laughs> what? What is that? I've heard of the Matrix. It's an ancient relic from thousands. No of years one can ago. be told what the Matrix is. Oh my God! That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's the best Matrix joke anyone's made in forty thousand years. 
fucking this is so stupid. Okay, um <laughs> Okay, uh so you realize like looking into the situation that well it looks like the uh, guest quarters are further away from where they're coming from. You uh, not only realize that it looks like there are actually a bunch of Tau sneaking around the Tau ish, uh, <laughs> sne- sneaking around the side tau to light? ambush you. Faux Tau ambush you there. You also realize that the floor of the hangar bay is designed to be expandable, and uh, you could actually like drop down. The, you can open up like enclose like parts of the hangar bay to uh, make it larger oh. or smaller. Um, Could there, is there like in the hangar bay, are there like, you know how in some hangars they have like doors that open up where like they'll store ships beneath the floor. So maybe there's like platforms that can be raised or lowered. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's the sort of thing. So that's your awareness with your technology. You realize that you need to make a stand, a, a challenging tech use check to get access to that. So it's not as much like it's not that you are one with the station; you are the station. It yes. can move it around. Yeah. Uh, my question is: is that like value-wise for us? It's not really going to alter our positions very much. But again, I close off most of the routes that they are coming from. Yes, you can. Yeah, like you are. The thing is, most of them are already in the hangar bay, but there are co- there are some coming from the other parts of the station. But if I I can like with like proximity sensors see where some are. Stand Standing Open on those things, panels. just yeah. drop them down and close doors on them and stuff yes, like that. Yes, you could do. There's still a ton of them, but you might be able to get like I don't know, like a dozen this way or something. It depends on how yeah, well you it's roll. Better than how that's much that's here. Yeah, it's a dozen less. Yeah. Well, I rolled a forty-one and I have a plus thirty, so that's an you, eleven. But you only have a ten tech, right? <laughs> so I mean, how many degrees of success is that? Oh, right, because it's off of a stat. That's a thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, remember this. How do we not remember how to play this, this is game? Why, this is why some people have died and some people have almost listen, died all the time. Listen, I'm deep in the machines here, yeah, okay? I don't know how any of this stuff works anymore. Um, That's three degrees of success. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so you wipe out three small squads of Tau and have created a uh, safe route to safe-ish route <laughs> towards the labs. You've uh, sort of raised a small uh, craft like up there. Also, popping out of the ground is a sentinel walker. Yes! I just say in a binaric voice, Junpei, now. (laughs) You got it. Uh, Also, how do you comically kill three units of Tau stealth suits with like moving shit? Oh, well, one, I mean like one is coming out from uh, behind a doorway and literally like two doors shut in front of it and then one of the doors opens from underneath and it just goes straight out into the vacuum of space. (laughs) And then uh, another set of them are right next to actually wall doors and the wall doors suddenly lean and you hear crashing noises and they open and just like tons of like parts and machinery just rain down on on them. Jeez. And then the last group, they just get like crunched between a bunch of like things that aren't open, supposed to open the way they are, but you know, I flipped the switch on one and flipped the other switch on the other and overrided the safety controls and got crunched. Just a bunch of pancake tau. Pseudo tau. What do they call the counterfeit counterfeit tau? Yeah. That was good. The problem is there's still about 50 of them in here. That is a lot we more than go I expected. Now. Yeah. Yes. We must go. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just now just a machine spirit forever. Uh, should I get uh, I can I can hold them off guys. I'll I'll hop in the the Sentinel. I can I can maybe step on a few of them before before no, they go. No. You should be the rear guard. Just be the back half. Just fire at them as we all fall back together. We're not leaving you behind you, Pei. Okay, well then when we get to the door, I'm going to hop out of this thing then. But Yeah, I, I guess just use it as like a block. Yeah, uh, he's saying this, by the way, over the comm system because he is already, he's like presses the buttons getting this thing spun up as all the lights turn on on the Sentinel. How how rad is Junpei with this Sentinel? Like, is he just like wrecking? Oh yeah, he's real quick. The problem is like the Sentinel is designed to be an anti like, you know, tank weapon, mm-hmm. but he's he's jumping with it and wait, like onto some things. Wait, and did stepping he up things. get into the Sentinel and find out it only has like a minor like stub gun, but it has in fact two pincer arms and he looks at them and says, get away from them, you bitches. Uh, n- no, I think you're a little <laughs> confused. Mm. No, I think that was when you were in your computer trance. It was a little. You access a lot of old data files. That's what I wanted to happen and it should. You downloaded the entire like data bank. I have completely overridden my memory 
memories of what's actually happening, and that's what I see. Great. So when we remember this later, that's what I'm going to remember. Hey, remember that big alien came out of the floor, and then you got in a big yellow suit and strangled it? No, that never happened at all. All right, you guys need to make athletics checks to run. No. Oh. That's my best stat. You sure you don't mean stealth? To think I have no. more points? No. I mean, you um, sure it's not a tech use? I do awesome. have a mechanical leg. And uh, you should also maybe, should we tell the rest of the squad that we need to fall back? Like, I think they sort of have the idea. But I think they'll get it when they see us just running. <laughs> Great leadership. Okay. <laughs> well, I think I think I sent, a, the a, in binaric voice, the message to everyone through their comms. I don't know about that. You were too busy watching Aliens. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea the power of this extra oh, mind man. I have now. <laughs> I'm watching movies and experiencing reality oh, simultaneously. Oh, my God. You've reached a new level. All right, athletics check. Oh my god, I have a thirty-five and I got a thirty-two. Okay, you're that good. is a miracle. Yeah, I thought I was gonna fail. My strength is garbage. I can reroll that for free because of my mechanical leg. Because it was bad. <laughs> that's not good. You get one free reroll. It's still bad. And that's word. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right, so I rolled an eighty-four. Oh. Okay, so about <laughs> half of the team is is making it out, including Shepard. Um, Junpei's uh, doing an okay job, but like they're actually literally like crawling on the. They've jumped onto the side of the Sentinel, and they're oh, like no. trying to get into it. And uh, he uh, he presses some buttons and pops at the bottom. There's like a, a bottom hatch as the Sentinel explodes. Um, so he does good work for a little while, but he just is getting completely overwhelmed. And, Sweet. And about half of the team is out, but the other half are cut off by these Tau stealth suits. Oh, no. It's, it's looking like it's over. And I'm going to be with you, Shepard. I love you, Andrew, but I'm going to float with Shepard right here. I think we're fucked. I don't like to say that, but I think we're what, do. what do you mean? There's 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 nothing we can we I can just, do here. I just look across. You know, it's like I'm getting flashbacks to seeing Jay go <laughs> in, behind the doors, and I just look over to Tombs, and it's almost like everything's in slow motion. I basically just give him a salute with my mechanical arm. No, no, no. We we can't we can't leave him behind. I mean, listen, the the he's, he's a talented killer. I mean, he could he could make a great consulting assassin one day. I mean. From professional standards, we just can't leave him there. Two of the savage warriors get shot down right next to Andrew as they were sort of standing back to uh, back to him, including you, the uh, the sort of lead one of them, uh, um, falls falls down at your feet. I'm about to press the button on my connection to close the door on the hallway that they're going to. For no, come on, come on, you can make it. Just just run a little bit faster, you know. So I go down and uh, I give one last look at the group. No, come on, you you can still make it here. And I look over to Junpei as we've taken cover behind the sentinel ruins. Yeah. And he gives me the nod, and I push the button and shut the door. I wave my little claw as the door closes. No, 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 no! And, and Shepard Tombs is, like, on the other side of the door and, like, slamming against it. He looks back, like, who who's made it through the door with me? Mello's there. Um, Nathan is there. The, uh, the guardsman who was working with Tomoa, uh... There's like three of the the warriors left. Mitsuru is sort of clutching her side, and uh, but is still there. But she looks like she's about to die. Does Does anyone know how to crack one of these damn things? And Shepard Tombs pulls out his hotshot last gun and starts like firing at the door. But I assume it's it's no, a blast it door. Yeah, it's, a it's, blast it's a blast door. door. It's not doing much. We gotta get to the we gotta get to the escape pod in the lab. We can't let him die for nothing. All right, we can, we can start moving, but just. Patch me in. I, I want to know what's going on out there. Okay, I didn't. I think this is gonna be gross, but yeah, I'll, I'll patch you in. We we should see. We should see what happens. It's kind of weird because you haven't patched in through my optics, especially when I was connected to the machine spirit like this. So you're getting more of like an overarching view. Like it's almost like you're looking through my eyes, but you're also looking from other directions, almost like you're peering through security oh, cameras ah, at the same this time. This is, I don't know if my processor can handle this, but okay, here we are, here we are. Okay, so he's in what, there. What, what are you seeing? Okay, uh, well, it looks like they're surrounded. Again, It's they're sort of stealthy, but they're mostly covered in gore and grime now, so they're hiding behind the, the Sentinel, like they said, and I guess, Andrew, roll an attack. I don't know if you want to use your gun or your hammer, but... Like, uh, well, they haven't, like... They're still just firing at us, right? They're still firing at you, but, uh, you know, they're they're moving closer. Okay, I'm just going to use my gun, then. Okay. Firing like, on semi-auto, because I can only sort of see them, and it's better to just more yeah. shots. 
That's a ten, baby. All right. Well, uh, so let's see if the let's see if this one is going to dodge. That's it, three though. degrees of success. Three degrees of success. Okay. Uh, he rolled literally a one, <laughs> uh, so he's going to do a. F when you roll literally a one, he actually, you don't you don't hit anything. Like I don't. I know that sounds like we're trying to just, but like, you, you want to look at these dice right here. Like, that's a one right there. So, <laughs> I, even though I hit with, or I shoot three shots at all hit, he just, that was all an illusion. Uh, yeah, it was actually, it, the stealth suits are like sort of flicking around. You thought that you were annihilating somebody, but it was actually just, you're, I know you're tied into the machine spirit and whatnot, but. Um, it was an echo. They, they've got it, their electronic warfare suites are like screwing you up. Like, you can't quite see where they are. That's what happens when they roll a one. Um, and now you're going to need to try to dodge as they start shooting at you. All right. Jeez. <laughs> I, I rolled a 48, which means I do pass. I do dodge one. Okay. Well, unfortunately, three are flying at you. Okay, no, two. Two are fly flying at you from this shot. Uh, All right, well, I dodged oh, one Oh, from of them. that shot. Yeah, yes. from that shot. Yeah, Perfect, yeah. A, a, a very appropriate qualifier. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the, only one has worked its way around the side of mm -hmm. this thing. You know, you're not quite sure. There might be 10. There might be 15 in here. Uh, you know, you did a lot of work on them. There's also the ones that were trying to block the way. It looks like they're engaged with a few other uh, soldiers and whatnot that are in here. It's not looking great, buddy. Um, so how much damage on the other one? Uh... Okay, well, let me roll that. Because <laughs> I only dodged one. I can't dodge more than once. I yeah. wish I had multi-dodge. No, the only Eldar get that. Right None at you this moment, I'm tapped into the machine spirit. I dodge all things. I've <laughs> seen that movie right now in my brain. Okay, I don't think you could bend back far enough is the problem. Is uh, that air you're breathing? <laughs> well, wait, Andrew, how many wounds do you actually have left? A lot. All like, of the wounds. Do you have, like, ten wounds left? I have no wounds. What? Oh, you have no wounds left. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay, what's your uh, what's your? Is toughness? there like no way I can break into this room? Uh, what's your toughness? What's your armor? Uh, uh, I hit you in the arm. What's your toughness? What's your armor? My toughness is six. My armor is two. All right. So because it's the be... armor, it's not the chest. Basically. No. Yeah. 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 I got that. Uh, so that'll be nine critical damage. Uh, fire consumes the target's arm, burning the flesh to a crisp right down to the bone. The target must make an immediate challenging toughness check or die from shock. Well, uh, because I've had to take a toughness check before from, you know, getting chopped nearly in half by a chainsword, right. my toughness is only 25 You now. got this. Do you have fate points left? This would be the time no. to use. You, you could burn a fate point if you're about to die. I will burn the only fate point I have remaining if I die here. If he burns that fate point and then he gets shot again, is he oh, just yeah, dead? Then, uh, well, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Jesus. Well, So when you burn a fate point, you're supposed to, like, sit out the rest of the battle... Um, and your allies are going to keep fighting, but, like but when you're sort of closed in like this, this might be a... So, okay. all right, here we go. 25 or less. All right. Oh, my God. I rolled a 21. What? Okay, okay. Okay, you need to, like, freaking run if you can. If where? you can. I'm okay, well, can. hold on. We're, okay, we're not done yet. Run um, where? So, you suffer two levels of fatigue. Good. You're stunned for one round. And you now are suffering, you suffer the lost arm condition, but I think what would be more interesting is instead of losing one of your fleshy arms, I think they just literally blast off your mechanical arm. I still feel that because it's still directly tied oh into my no, nerves. Oh, the mechanical arm. How will we reload all those fire extinguishers now? I'll have I, to like I think also your backpack has fallen off and just fire extinguisher uh, reloads are rolling around on the ground. <laughs> In slow motion, it's like, like dun, 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 and just like little fire extinguishers hitting the ground everywhere. I do think that I spasm a little bit. <laughs> well, as, you're stunned. Like you can't. But that's. I think that's what's stunning me is that you basically destroyed my backpack, which is directly tied into my that spine. That is directly yeah. tied into your like spinal. So cord. I'm just spasming on the ground as electrical circuits misfire. Buddy, buddy, are you okay? You. Oh God. Uh. Uh, Junpei's uh, gun is not doing him much good. Uh, he tosses it to the side and uh, is going to run forward uh, into the uh, Tao clone things uh, with his uh, bat. Come on, Junpei, kill all of them. That's an 87. He misses. God, I, I, Junpei! Uh, and Andrew, you're stunned, so you can't do anything. Shepard Tombs is going to, like, 
try to do it. I can't do a tech use. You can't. You, uh, you know what? I'll let you try to do a okay. tech use. I'll try to do a tech use. Uh, you're gonna have to roll really, really well because you're untrained. I, I, can I, don't I have anything in it? Can what's I, your intelligence? My intelligence is a thirty-one. Can I? Okay. You know what? If you roll a one, <laughs> if you roll a one, you can open it. Oh, because it's minus thirty. It's minus thirty. Oh also, my I, god! <laughs> Here it goes. This is gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I mean, maybe it'll, look. There's a one in a hundred chance. There's a one in a hundred chance. No, that's that's a twenty-nine. But we can all. Be, okay, I'm gonna use my last fate point to reroll that. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a one. Here we go. Come on. No, that's a twenty-four. Damn it! I don't think they want you to open the door. They closed the door, dude. Okay. Um. So with Junpei surrounded, now they're coming around the sides of the thing. Now there's four of them that you're facing. You're stunned. Well, oh. I'm no longer stunned, right? Because it was just one round. Well, no, this we've come around to your your. Ra- so they'll get to go, but I'm not stunned anymore. Oh no, it doesn't unstun until it's back to my round. Yeah, until it's back to your. Shit. Yes, yes. Okay, so you're stunned. I think. Uh, well, Junpei is gonna drop his bat. He's gonna try to pick you up and start moving towards, I guess, one of the other hallways that hasn't been sealed off. Um, but he picks you up and like he bumps into literally another one of the stealth suits like you're surrounded by them I think uh, Andrew uh, you two are about to die not not you Shepard but Junpei and, oh, and Andrew hold on um, um, patch me through real quick uh, Andrew can you hear me uh, uh, yeah uh, what? what listen I just I just want to say from why aren't you gone I'm going to leave, all right? I, I'm going to make my way out of here, but I, listen, I usually work alone, and I have to say that I've had a great time working with a partner. First time ever, but damn it, have I seen some pretty incredible killings in my time, and yours are definitely at the top of the <coughs> list. <coughs> good, good luck, and kill as many of those sons of bitches as you can. Get, get better. What? Don't be mediocre. Oh, well. oh, all right. I yeah. I I promise I won't. Check check your pocket. What? Do you, all right. Hey, is this the necklace? It's all that matters. Okay. I I promise. I I'll I'll get him. His name was what was it? It's Jay. Jay. I if I can get him out of here and and if we can do something, I I'll let him know what you did today. <coughs> all right. Good luck, Andrew. Okay, um, I can keep the feet up. We see uh, Junpei get shot. He's down on the ground. Uh, Andrew is surrounded. They're charging up another volley of shots. Oh, I don't even want to look. I don't have eyelids to close. Hey, Captain! Wh- what? And I look over at the other side of the Sentinel wreck type of thing. And you see... A black-clad space marine with a red pauldron, and he looks like a librarian. Uh, Captain? And you see the helmet come off of the front space marine, and you see the face, not of Kevin Kevinson, but you certainly hear the voice. Um, Captain, you doing all right? You look a little banged up. And I just, (laughs) and just spit out a whole bunch of blood. Don't worry, we got it handled. Wilhelm, Lucius? All right, uh, and two other space marines have teleported in as well. They're all clad in black armor. You recall vaguely that once the security system turned off, you were going to be able to teleport other folks in. And three Death Watch space marines have showed up, and while these Tau Stell suits are very powerful, um, they're no match for a trio of space marines that have fought an entire uh, army of tyrannids. And, like, in quick motion, like, Kevin Kevinson with his force sword, which yeah. he's gotten better with now, yeah. like, runs up and just, like, cleaves, like, the Tau warriors, the stealth suits that are, yeah. like, right in front of Andrew and Junpei. Yeah. And I, I think behind them you see Wilhelm running and just fall into the fray <laughs> into a whole bunch of them, and you just see stealth suits go flying while as uh, Lucius is just full auto with his heavy bolter. Yeah. yeah, Wilhelm's chainsword is just, like, going nuts. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you don't even see Wilhelm. You just see distortions and bodies going flying. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and... Him and his damn chains covered in towel blood. <laughs> you just hear so much clinking. It's really loud. Yeah. And, uh, basically, uh, Kevin Kevinson reaches down and, like, with one giant hand, like, picks up 
like you and like Junpei. Uh, Captain, you, you look a little messed up. You doing all right? <coughs> yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, what's your name? I'm Junpei. Are you an angel? Oh my god, is that a baseball bat? Oh my god. Do you play? No, but I've been meaning to try it out. Captain, you ever played baseball before? We don't, we don't have time for this. Oh, that's a good point. There's a lot of enemies. Don't worry, Captain. You leave it up to me. And while, while he's holding you with that one hand, like, I assume he's just hitting. He's, oh, his yeah. Other... His other arm is just swinging like... It's like, like a mind of its own. Like, it's just going. Like, not even look, like, looking at the two of you and his hands just swinging and just cutting like... A cow turns the corner like every second and just like a four sword just slices <laughs> it in half. Yeah. Don't worry, Mr. Uh, Junpei. You you take Captain out of here, and I'll take care of these sons of guns. All right, let's let's get out of here, buddy. I think these guys got it. You got it. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna hit him with my knowledge. And you see Kevin Kevinson's the hand not holding the four sword like light up, and you see like electricity just like crackling in his right hand, and just reaches out, and you just see just bolts just arc down, just lighting up warriors. You know a space marine? Uh, so we can talk about that later. It's a weird story. Uh, I'm sure. So we go, we make our way to the door. Yeah. We're both blimping, like, yeah. in a weird fashion where, like, I'm one leg and he's the other leg because we're all both so fucked up that yeah. we basically have to, like, combine and form <laughs> one person. One super leg. Yeah. Um, and uh, in and one, uh, in my left arm, I've got my maul. Yeah. And in his right arm, he's got his bat. <laughs> and so we're just making our way to the door like that. <laughs> just sort of doing this weird limp motion. All right. And then you can open the door. I go, your... just one button, just push the door open. <laughs> you are still one with the machine. Yeah. I'm still one with the machine. Uh, okay, now the door is open. Uh, also, so the rest of the survivors have all run to the lab where the escape pod is. The only person that's still there is... Um, Mello was lingering for like a little bit, but then didn't want to see the rest of this happen. But um, it's just a shepherd is there as the door opens. You and son me. of a bitch! And Shepard goes up and like gives you a quick hug. I yeah. start convulsing because the backpack is so, still flinging yeah. in. So sorry about that. Very very unprofessional. Just just excited to see you, you know, for, for the killing. For more killing. <coughs> we gotta go. Yeah, l let me get under you. And he, Shepard, yep. like, wraps his arm underneath uh, yep. Andrew and starts, like, pulling him out of there. And yep. now we're a three-person combined. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three <laughs> Jun super Jun team. Junpei's a little less injured than you, Andrew. So, like, you're... So they're both supporting me and I'm in the center, just sort of, like... Yeah, you're you're kind of you're kind of completely destroyed, really. But um, at this point, it looks like the uh, stealth suits are being, I mean... 80 of them might have overwhelmed three Death Watch Space Marines, but at this point, you guys have done an okay job of fighting them, and the also the Death Watch is friggin' dead. Oh, Watch, I so. definitely did quite a bit. It's not like someone here killed, like, three dozen of them with platform shenanigans. I see everything. Okay, let's get to the lab, then. Yes, definitely. I'm, I'll, I'll help bring him along, but yeah. basically we just, like, head down the hallway. Yeah. And the uh, survivors that are there are sort of like patch each other's up. Uh, Mitsiru is at uh, the computer console. She's barely sort of conscious, but she's like pressing some stuff like, there's got to be an escape pod here somewhere. They said there was an escape pod. I don't know how to access it. And then all of a sudden she hears a voice in her comm, left button, right entrance. <laughs> and it's just you just see a door open by itself inside of the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did the and the escape pod is actually there. It's behind uh, one of the uh, it was one concealed. Of the walls. Is it, it a concealed. combo? You have to press left, left, up, up, down, A, B. Yeah, it's up, up, down, down, left, yeah. right, left, right, B, A, start. Yes. <laughs> oh, this combo. <laughs> yes. It's weird. It's called like Konami or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a Konami brand escape uh, escape pod. Uh, it's <laughs> Konami in, configuration. In the future, all they just make now is escape pods. Well, they don't make games anymore in the 21st da, century. Da, 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 da. Man, that little elbow jab there. <laughs> okay. um, 40,000 years in a making, that jab. And uh, you see that this lab itself has, it's kind of creepy because there's a ton of bodies floating in like, tubes with like some sort of weird I don't know like some sort of liquid they're floating in it's sort of orange and gooey there's like a dozen humans or so there's uh, a few tau uh, that look like they're not fully formed like the ones that are trying to kill you um, there's some Eldar it looks like he was growing a crute in the corner there's a whole bunch of stuff here this is very disturbing but clearly this must be where he was getting all the 
shells where uh, he was implanting those bodies? Uh, bring me, bring me over to that console. Um, all right, and I kind of shuffle him over to the console. All right, let's let's get out of here, people. Load up into the escape pod. It's going to be very crowded, but we should be good. Uh, and Mello sort of leaning, What's, leading that. What are you thinking? I I have to get as much data as I can so we can maybe. Maybe Tomoa can grow Jay a body. I don't know if we have enough time. I mean, those space marines are doing probably good work out there, but, I mean, who knows if they're going to be able to get all of them. That, uh, and one of them might slip away. They're kind of sneaky. Exactly. Like, we need to get out of I, here. I have to try. Okay, well, then you need to make a tech use check because you're under pressure here. It's going to be at minus, uh, minus 30 because you got to do this, like, right now. Also, Atris has already started purging all of the data in the system oh, also, when you press the button. Well, that's great because I have another minus 20 because of the two uh, fatigue points. <laughs> oh, but good. at least I have a plus 30 because my tech use is so good. So it's still a minus 20. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Yay. Here we go. Minus 20. It's not great. <laughs> How much did you fail by? All I got was a Mr. Potato schematic. Yeah. I didn't fail. Okay. But I only passed by two. Okay, so you get something. You almost you actually don't even get you don't have time to pick any data. I don't know what I get, I just you're do just like, like data you're, dump. You're just like dump everything left out here. You don't even know if it's corrupted. There might even be viruses on it. I just took it, but the yeah. whole C file and just put it in copy and paste. <laughs> and I have Primark no idea. DNA, what's in it. Primark DNA, Primark DNA, Primark DNA. Oh man, if he had a I don't know if he's gotten some space marine gene seed. If he did, that's a whole other thing oh, going Jesus. on. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh Emperor. Um, all right, well, I mean, I just, I got what I got, and I unplug it. And all right, I, we've got to go right now. And we... All right, so I drag Andrew into the, uh, basically, the, the escape pod. Um, I turn to Mello. Yeah. Uh, Mello Tiernan, a uh, question. You, you mentioned earlier you were setting some charges. Like, uh, are we ready to blow up the station? Uh, yes, actually, the time. That's part of the reason we need to be leaving now, because it's going to blow up in about three minutes. All right. Um, I don't know who the Space Marines are. Is there any way we could communicate with them? Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess I can try. I'm really tapped into a lot of things here. Yes, you seem to be on some sort of high at this point. Is there any way you could communicate with them? So I go on all frequencies, and I just, I, in a very robotic tone, like a 90s video game, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. You have three minutes to evacuate the facility. Kevin Kevinson just, like, stabbing a towel in the, like, in the face, just like, oh, man, that captain, always oh, a crazy son of a bitch. All right, guys, let's get the hell out of here. All right, we need to go, too. Oh, absolutely. So, basically, <laughs> Shepard hits the button, shuts the door, pulls the hatch, and just launches the escape pod. We go flying. It's real crowded in here. There's about there's about eight survivors <laughs> now. A lot but of people in a tiny escape th pod. Ah, there's more like twelve, but yeah, it's all really it's really tight. It's designed to take a lot of folks out at once. Um, and then uh, as we're flying away from the facility, you see that the warp storm. There's actually a storm building up. Like he was like sneaking into the warp or whatnot, but like something crazy's going on Wait, here. Wait, so like something's going wrong. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, something has definitely gone wrong. You've messed up his entire facility. Um, but he just had like a small rift before, right? He did have a small rift before, and now it's getting a lot, lot bigger. Good. Oh, no. Good. That's not good. Um, I, we're getting a little bit close to some of those um, edges of the rift. Uh, Daniel, is there any way you could adjust some of the navigation here to, to, to potentially get us away from one of these things? All right. I, uh, I'm looking at this here. I was going to go straight back to the ship, but the warp storm, like they said, is it's getting too big. We can't fly straight back to the... Uh, we need to... It, I don't know if we're going to get away in time. Um, Mello, um, how much time do we have left on that charge? Two seconds. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, no, there's that explosion, and the shockwave is coming towards us. It's getting closer and closer. We're going at full speed. I don't think we're oh going to be able to run it. Oh, my God. Fuck. System rebooting. Blah. Ah. Ah, oh, finally. Well, uh, what do you mean, finally? Uh, did we make... I guess we made it. This isn't the escape pod. Yeah, I mean, you're a little worse for wear, but at least you're functioning now. Oh, uh, how long was I out? Three weeks. Ooh. Oh, I'm glad I was able to get back together. I guess. But that's... you have a double fire extinguisher now. Oh, I did feel a little... It's, I'm feeling weird flying around, to be perfectly honest. I don't know how the, the balance is. I guess it'll take some getting used to. Okay, it's a little strange, because you got the one coming out the front, and you also now have one coming out the back. 
Okay. So you got to do like a spin thing. Maybe we should not do whatever. Um, but uh, where are we? Did we did we make it? I mean, I guess we made it out. Uh, uh yeah, it was a little rocky there for a bit. Uh, a lot of drifting. Uh, lost engine power. Then life support. Then talks about the the who we need to lose. But after a little bit, you know, Tamoa came and picked us up. Actually, ironic. I guess she was closer than she said. Yeah. Well, so we're on we're on her ship now. Yeah, we're on her ship. This uh, is this is a nice and this is a pretty nice ship. Yeah, it's 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 way nicer than I'm used to. That's for sure. Yeah, better than the flexible demeanor. Also, and I I I turn my body, and mm. you can see that part. It's just a glimpse of part of my left arm that looks mechanical, but there's a new mechanical arm on my back, and it's spinning in circles. Okay, so you're getting your repairs too. Well, it's been a lot of repairs for us. Uh, what about and then the door opens, Andrew. It's almost time. The uh, I think uh, he's about to wake up, so I think it's time to go the, see him. It worked. It did. It did work. It did actually took. Yes, it did. Because there was a lot of talk of not sure's and yes, no promises. Yes, it's a very it's a very unorthodox. Come, we could talk while we walk. It's sort of an unorthodox cloning, uh, replique sort of technology uh, based off the pattern that was that you were able to download from my father. Uh, we yeah, because he did mention something about you know bodies not taking. And stuff. Yes, we had to do uh, well. We had to combine a couple of different templates together, but we were able to get it to work. I don't know what that means. Uh, well, uh, you're not an expert in cloning technology like I am. Uh, that tracks. Okay. Well, I should have you. Uh, the two of you are now. Uh, well, acolytes of a dead man, and while I have no love lost for my father, there are... he made many enemies, but he also made many allies and friends, so I would suggest you to lie low for a little while. Yeah, I was wondering how the Inquisition would feel about two acolytes killing their former boss. To be fair, only one of them did, but... True. Uh, but, but there is a process involved. Like I said, I think the both of you, once uh, once he's recovered, I think the both of you need to get uh, maybe towards the edges of space. Uh, I don't quite know how you want to do that, but uh, I, you are you are no longer working for me. You are relieved from the Inquisition, as far as I am concerned. But I'm others sure we'll do s- not feel the same way. Well, I'm sure we'll work something out. At least we were able to give Tombs a clean slate away from this. Yes, yes, he wasn't an acolyte, so he's good to go. Okay, well here we are. Uh, so I know it's been been a little while uh before since you've seen him but just uh give it he's going to be getting used to uh being uh, alive again so all right so we'll, give him a moment we'll be out of your hair as soon as we can thanks for your help it's it's my pleasure you did you did better than i expected i must thank you cool all but right but i think we're also even because i brought your friend back to life sort of sure all right all right best of luck. i i, I guess <laughs> And she walks away. Yeah, she just sort of walks away. Look, she's got Inquisitor stuff to do. All right, so I push the button on the door. Yeah. The door's open. I see him. Oh! Oh. I, I That's did. what she meant. Yeah. I think, is that is that Jay? 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 Uh, uh, um, my mouth is really dry. You've Jay. so so many. Oh my god, I'm alive! Yeah. Holy shit, I survived! What, what, what happened? Last thing I remember, the 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 the, the doors were the shutting, and then then the lasers and the big blasts, and then the the very sexy but scary demon things were coming in with the sharp stuff, and like. Uh, well, wow. we sort of rescued you. Actually, Atris kind of rescued you a little bit. So, uh, but, wait, yeah. Atris rescued me? You yeah. were in a soul stone for a while? What was that like? Wait, what do you mean I was in a soul stone? Like, my God. Holy shit, you guys fixed my arm. This is awesome. How did you do that? Ooh. It was a cloning process. Um, a cloning you, process? So your original body didn't make it. What? Your body may or may not be part of a torture castle. It, um, oh, wait, hold world. on a second. My body may or may not be part of a torture castle? That's a story for a different day. A torture day. castle? Different day. What has happened since I've been gone? A lot. A lot of stuff, but I think maybe you should look in the mirror for wait, a second. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Is wait, it, okay, this is going to be... A, I, this look, at, look at this real quick. My hands are so smooth. Okay, this is going to be... Look at this. It's going to be a shock. So... You, 
we, as you've gathered, we couldn't get your old body back. Okay, I mean, look, I had a lot of good mileage on that old body. I'm told I get it, all right? But, like, look, man, new body, I can I can get back into my own priestly duties. He's taking and... this remarkably well. You should really look in a mirror. Yeah. W- what do you mean? What, do I have, like, is, Here, it like lot, I... is it, like, a lot of freckles or something? Are my ears really big? I-, I pick up a little hand mirror with one of my little claws and float over to you and, and show it to you. Um... Andrew? Daniel? Yeah? Am I a fucking Eldar? Y- you, you're an Eldar. You're an Eldar. Huh. Neat. Thanks for listening to this grimdark tale and the finale for Dark Heresy. It looks like Jay and Andrew are finally reunited. But danger still looms beyond the horizon. Atris may be gone, but his allies are not. And now, with Jay and Andrew on the run, where will this new path take them? What adventures will unfold? Well, as some of you may know, a great change is looming. And it goes by the name of Wrath and Glory. It's an exciting new system, and our boys can't wait to dive in. But, in the meantime... Tune in next month as Daniel, Jay, and Andrew reminisce on adventures past and talk about some of their favorite moments of the last two years. If you have any burning questions you've been waiting to ask, please email us at rolltoseas at gmail.com and our boys will be happy to read and answer them on the show. Of course, I'll continue to chronicle the adventures of Andrew, Daniel, and Jay every first and second Wednesday of the month. And, I've said this before, but it bears significant repeating. I and my overlords offer a huge thanks to Daniel Fernandez for continuing to insert his soul into a servo skull and helping these two as Game Master. He is a wonderful storyteller, incredibly patient, and just so lith. Again, from the bottom of my oil-soaked mechanical heart, thank you. And as always, if you want to get your wargaming fix, I'm talking about Warhammer 40k wargaming fix, you can tune in to Roll to Seas every final Wednesday. If you'd like to download more episodes or check out other similar podcasts, head over to PartialArc.com. There you might enjoy listening to Friday Night Quests, a podcast much like Dark Heresy, but set in the fantastical and equally hilarious world of Dungeons and Dragons. You may even recognize some familiar voices, such as Daniel Fernandez or even Jay Jones, along with many more ridiculous and wonderful characters. Definitely check it out. Of course, you can always follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Partial Arc. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to leave a rating and review on iTunes. You could win a chance to have your consciousness downloaded into an Eldar body. Pretty cool. Goodbye. <laughs>